Scottsdale, Arizona is a thriving city with a beautiful historic old town that attracts tourists from all over the world. But the cachet of old town is in jeopardy of being lost. Currently, there is a proposal by a developer to remove a valuable old town parking lot and replace it with a five-story apartment building, 20,000 square feet of commercial space and an underground garage. During my time in the city, I witnessed many outrages but this particular outrage may be the worst of all. If this project is approved, it would take out a vital parking lot that has served the Old Town businesses, customers, and tourists for the past 40 years. This lot, with 123 spaces, borders historic Brown Avenue and is called the Pepperwood Lot. It is one of five parking lots that were part of an improvement district in the early 70s and it was built with funds collected by the city from the Old Town property owners. There is an extensive history of this parking lot. In 2010, the city decided to sell this lot and the adjacent Pepperwood building to a private investor. I was on the city council at the time. When this item first turned up on the agenda, I went and I talked to the uh, Old Town merchants who had some concerns. Uh, by the way, they're not too keen on the idea of a parking structure. They're much happier to keep it a parking lot, but I'm guessing you already knew that. And after seeing this proposal, we all voted unanimously to approve the sale only because there were hard and fast stipulations stating that these parking spaces and the alley easement would be preserved in perpetuity for the merchants who paid for them. These stipulations were so paramount that they were specifically included in the new deed to ensure that the city kept the promises made in the 1970s. The new owner was well aware that this deal meant that he would have to preserve the parking spaces, the alley, and the easement forever. Mr. Frankel would be obligated to provide 123 public parking spaces uh, from that property uh, so that all the properties adjoining this parking lot would uh, have the same access that they currently enjoy now. Uh, they would all continue to have the uh, um, 123 public parking spaces in close proximity that uh, the people could use that are uh, they're utilizing the, uh, the, the businesses in that area. Now in 2022 he's trying to renegotiate the terms he agreed to in 2010. He is proposing to redevelop the property and to construct a five-story building on the parking lot in the alley and move the parking underground, which will only be available after years of construction. The city has a long history of planning for and creating public parking lots in Old Town, starting back in the 1960s. The city leaders realized that the success of the Old Town businesses was dependent upon the availability of surface level parking lots. Then, in 1972, the city admitted there was a considerable shortage of parking in Old Town, over 1,600 spaces. To start addressing the shortage, the city created an improvement district with a plan to create 550 spaces. It was named the East-West Main Improvement District and extended from Indian School south to Second Street between Marshall Way and Wells Fargo. These five parcels were identified and designated for future parking lots. Next, the city set up a fund and taxed the Old Town property owners to pay for these parking lots. In return for their money, the property owners were allocated parking credits. These people tax themselves for not only the Civic Center garage, the 123 parking spaces behind Pepperwood, and parking surface parking behind Panera. The city assessed the tax on the property owners and the first thing that mom and dad did was pay that parking lot off. The city council approved numerous resolutions and the program was a success. The funds from the improvement district were used to pay for the construction of five surface level parking lots, breaking ground in 1974. The Pepperwood lot is one of those five parking lots. Now that you know the history, you can understand why that lot needs to be preserved. 71 years we had survived all the ups and downs and turmoil. We have the largest number of historic buildings in the city in our area. 
This parking lot is as vital today to the livelihood of the merchants as it was when it was built back in 1974. In fact, with the new Civic Center $40 million renovation, the demand for parking will surely increase. And we have all seen how downtown Scottsdale has grown with multi-story, high-density buildings. Parking has continued to be a problem for the businesses and the city has failed to keep up with the times. The leaders of the past foresaw the need for accessible ground-level parking in Old Town and they implemented plans to provide it. Will our present-day leaders follow their example? Or will they betray those old town property owners who paid thousands of dollars over the years for these parking lots? If they fail to keep the promises made in the 1970s and in 2010, who would trust them to honor anything in the future? 